believe I bought that in 2013. Uh, we just recently sold it for a hundred thousand dollars. I think we sold it to an investor last year for about a hundred grand, uh, and that had two tenants paying seven fifty. And it's like the identical property. So I'm going to run this analysis for you based on the current rents, which is six fifty a month. Uh, but just know that whenever these tenants do move out, you're actually going to be able to up that rent. You'll be able to get seven fifty, no problem. But you can't just uh, get seven fifty like snap of the finger, right? You're going to, of course, want to turn the units over, and that's going to cost you some coin. Um, so that's why we're going to run the numbers based upon uh, the current rents, because there's no reason to remove folks, right? If they're already paying 650, that's good, man. Maybe we get them on a one-year lease, we renew it, and maybe we try to increase it like 25 bucks a t at a time. You know, you don't want to just immediately go in, take over the property, and be like, "Yo, your rent's 750 right now," because odds are good one or both of those tenants is going to move out. And yeah, when you get a new tenant in there, they're going to pay an extra 100 bucks a month. But dude, that don't make no damn sense. Turnover is what kills your return, not an extra hundred bucks a month. You do not want to create artificial turnover. These are C-class multifamily assets. You're going to deal with enough turnover as it is. That's just part of the business. It's the nature of being uh, a C-class multifamily landlord. People are going to move in. They're going to move out. Nobody dreams. Nobody wakes up in, in the morning and goes, man, I hope today is the day that I get to live in Al's $80,000 duplex from here on for the rest of my life. Dude, that's just not how it rolls, right? Uh, so you got you to gotta think of that. So be smart, man. This thing is going to pencil out a solid return right now. So don't, don't be crazy. Don't try to remove that. Hey.